Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this video we are going to set up AdMob and Chartboost in our Anti-Candy Crunch source code. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's take a look at our project and let's see where uh, this needs to be set up. First of all, let's just go to setup and here we have our chart boost app ID and app signature. This is what you need to change. And finally, uh, on the AdMob side, we are going to change this application ID and our AdMob banner add unit ID. And that will be all. So let's start with AdMob. So go ahead and log into your AdMob account. So let's type in add mob here. Let's find that. Okay, let's sign into add mob. Okay, now let's create an app. So let's go to apps and let's add app. Okay, have you published your app on Google Play or the App Store? Uh, well, I'm going to go with the version that we haven't because that is better for you. I will use my older credentials when I will just update. For now, we will not have we have not published our app on the App Store. So let's select no and enter your app information. Platform iOS. Let's add our app. And here we have our app ID. So I will just simply copy this out and paste it in Xcode under AdMob application ID. As you can see, this is required. Okay, 41, or the last number, 41, that is correct. Now let's create an add unit ID and we need to create only a banner. So let's select that. I will name this. Okay, let's create an add unit ID and it is that simple. If you forgot to grab your app ID, you can grab it now. And of course, now we are going to copy and paste our banner ID because that is what we have created. Okay, let's go back to Xcode. Good stuff. And let's just click on done. Here we have it, our button banner. Here we have our ID. And if you want to find your app ID again, go to, I believe, app overview or maybe app settings. Yes, here we have our app settings. And of course, now we can grab our app ID from here. And I almost forgot, but luckily I didn't. We need to link our add mob settings with Firebase. So go ahead, click here on link to Firebase. Again, app settings, link to Firebase. And let's add our bundle ID here. So let's go back to Xcode. Let's go to Anti Candy Crunch, a general, of course, select your target. And let's just copy this out and paste it in here. Uh, tap near it and let's select continue. Now, uh, link to an existing Firebase project? No, let's create a new Firebase project. Of course, if you already created, in your Firebase uh, dashboard, then you could link it, but we are going to go with the brand new way. Okay, create a new Firebase project. That is, uh, let's wait for Firebase to set up all the database and create your Firebase project. Okay, next up, and uh, this is the final section of our AdMob setup. Let's see here. Here we have, click here to start downloading the config file and we need to add this config file, okay? Uh, we are taken to the Firebase console and here you have our Google service info playlist. It has automatically started. If it hadn't, then go ahead and click on the button. And what you need to do now is go to your Xcode project, delete the current Google in service info playlist file. Let's move it to trash. Very important, let's move it to trash. And then grab it from your downloads folder and let's put it inside our project. Make sure copy items if needed is selected, create groups and add to target is checked. Let's 
click on finish and as you can see we have an, another google service info.plist file uh, with a new name with this bundle id so uh, make sure to double check it uh, that uh, it works as expected okay what is it uh, what is up next well we need to add our chart boost ids so for that go ahead and open up a new tab go to chartboost.com sign up or if you haven't done already so and then log in so let us just log in here and now let's add an app here select our platform it will be ios app nickname anti cookie crunch 2 okay app bundle id well you don't need to well you could add it here let's try to add our app bundle id maybe it is not uh, necessary maybe it's optional let's see how this works yeah maybe you can import it yeah you don't really need to but after your app and this is very very important after your app is live on the app store you need to come back here and add your app bundle id and your itunes url here now we want to enable test mode and only for 120 minutes and our app orientation is portrait and let's click on save and our app id and app signature have been created okay enter a valid itunes url yeah we need to add an itunes url not just yet okay here we have our app id and let's go back to xcode uh, uh, setup yep let's just scroll down and here we have our app id let's replace it and app signature let's copy that out and again place it in the uh, specified con uh, constant okay uh, one last thing is that you need to create a campaign in chart boost if you don't already know let us create a network publishing campaign um, if this enable these basic settings on this switch if it isn't enabled then you most probably need to set up your bank details and your contact information maybe some tax info go ahead and do that if you don't have this enabled or you just simply can't enable this network publishing campaign okay our campaign name will be of course you can add this app to another campaign if you wish to now ads type will be static interstitial platform ios and we have our app already selected of course you can add as many apps to a campaign as you wish let's just scroll down to see that everything is fine and let's click on save and that is it your campaign is active you have created an app and you have added your ids inside the setup.swift file where they need to be okay that is it for this lesson if you are from youtube go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and maybe subscribe if you are on our membership site or maybe you are from another place then go ahead and take a look at the next video where i will be talking about what i'm going to yeah we are going to take a look at in-app purchases and how to set them up in itunes connect so very exciting video tutorial coming up next and i will see you in the next one